Hello there and welcome to my channel, African Gypsy. My name is Sunshine. For those who've come back to this channel, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and thank you for the support you've given me. I really appreciate it. And for those who've come here for the first time, welcome, and I hope you, that you do stay on the African Gypsy channel. Be sure to subscribe so that you can find out the next time I post another video. Now, this video is for the star sign Virgo for the month of August. August 5 to 31st and remember remember that this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everyone so take what fits and leave what doesn't right so for the sign of Virgo in the month of August I see that you've been doing a lot of work and now you've gotten to a point where you're contemplating the next step forward into the future and there may be some expansion involved as well and I see that there may be a need to stick to your guns, stand by your principles in order to win. There may be a situation where you're trying to make a decision and people are trying to force you into a certain other type of decision which you don't feel is actually in your best interest. So stand firm, stick to your guns, stand by your principles and win. Crossing your path, I see that there may be a dramatic parting that is on the cards. Perhaps it's already playing out. Someone came out with some drama or some people came out with some drama. There's a sense of being stabbed in the back all these knives and swords are in your heart and you're like feeling stabbed in the back. But it's not necessarily a bad thing because the energy of these people that you're trying to extricate or remove yourself from has been very negative, pessimistic, cruel and harsh. And I see that once that energy is out of your the orb of your life, you're going to make much faster progress with a stronger dedication towards your ambitions. Coming up as a solution for you, I see spirit has come in. Heaven is in this. Angels, ancestors, your fairies, your mer people, they're all in it. And there's going to be a favorable turn of events in your life. As that happens, as this beautiful, beautiful blessing unfolds for you, Virgo, it's important to move forward with tact and diplomacy. Find a tactful way to put things across. Try and avoid conflicting situations, even if they are being pushed in your face. And you need to have the, the strength of the ego soar and rise above your situation, see it from a higher perspective, make um, informed decisions, make a plan and be like a sharp shooter, you know, meet your target every time, you know, an eagle always meets its target. So make sure you're on that kind of a vibe. And I know Virgo, I've also got some Virgo in me and we're all about that. We're all about efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Sometimes we even drive ourselves too hard, but it's one of those moments. And you need to proceed with a lot of courage and persistence as well as you go forward. You may be dealing with some Leo or Taurus energy, but not necessarily. In the past, Virgo, I see that there was a tower moment. Yes. Whoa, that was quite a storm. And you're like, whoa, look what that storm blew in. <laughs> yeah, let's cleanse the energy of that storm. Yeah, because it might still be lingering around. I clear that energy for you watching at home as well. So with the tower moment, this is an act of God, something out of your control where spirit, angels, and ancestors have allowed this thing to, to happen. You had built your tower, you were happy with it, you put your turrets on top, you're like, oh, good job. And through an act of God, the sun burns the turrets off, and these people who've been working sabotage, see, people have been sabotaging your best, effect, your best attempts at building your tower. They've been thrown out and exposed. So the saboteurs have been exposed and revealed and thrown out. And this is a card of regeneration. It's about rebuilding. You're like, oh, okay, now this, the turrets have fallen down. Let's decide, okay, we can work with these bricks. Okay, these ones are too broken. We're not going to work with these again. It gives you a chance to reevaluate and rebuild the future the way you want it to be written. I think this is probably the reason why there's been this feeling of being stabbed in the back. The tower moment exposed the saboteurs were stabbing you in the back and being very cruel and, and unreasonable towards you. And which is why it's not necessarily a bad thing. The spirit allowed it to happen to propel you to propel you into the next level to push you because there are things that you'd never normally do if you're not under duress. And only under this duress, there's certain plans that you stood up and you made and you're standing your ground. You're like, okay, you showed me your cards. And because you did that, I'm going to make certain decisions. I'm going to stick to my guns and I'm going to charge ahead because spirit is on my side. So it's not really a bad thing. It really isn't a bad thing. I feel that it's quite a good thing for you. I feel as well with your current circumstance, there's a karmic debt being repaid to you. There's something that you did that was very good for someone in the past and you weren't even counting the cost. 
you were doing good because it was the right thing to do. It's, and we're all about service. So Virgo, we're all about serving other people, serving community, serving serving people around us, serving those who need us the most. And you've done that. And Spirit is saying, you know what, Virgo, I saw what you did last time. And I'm going to reward that with some form of um, generosity. It could be financial generosity. Someone could uh, just give you some money out of the blue. It could be a financial gift or some other gift from a loved one. Someone just comes and says, hey, listen, here's a parcel of food. You know, thank you for what you did for me in the past. And Oh, here's some money, and it's a good thing. And there's some unexpected good news coming to you right now. If this hasn't happened as you're watching this video right now, any day now, Virgo, it's about to happen. And I feel that you live in this area of unproductivity that you felt that you were in, and you're moving forward. And I think the unproductivity as well, I feel it was also caused by some of this drama of these negative people who are trying to weigh you down and stop you from reaching out because it's that kind of crab mentality where you're reaching out and they can see you're almost at the top and they're like, no, come back down here. We're all sad and we're depressed and we're angry and we know how to be cruel. So come and be cruel with us or come and, and, and provide a mat for us to step on. <laughs> and the spirit has a sense of humor. That's how I heard it coming out. In the future, I see there's a father figure coming through. It could be your biological father or a father figure in your life. And this man is coming through. He's seeing the burdens you're carrying. He's seeing the problems you've had. And you can see the disagreeable bunch that you were intertwined with. And he's seeing how much you've had to rebuild. And he can see that there's a lot of potential in you and is making a judgment in your decision, dear Virgo. All right. So now I want to see what our root is. Spirit, angels, guides, fairies, ancestors, my highest guides, my highest fairies, my highest readers, please give us a message for Virgo, okay? So we need to look at our inner child, take time to play. I, I know there's a lot of hard work to do, and Virgo's all about, oh, let me get that work done, let me get that work done. But Spirit is saying, excuse me, Spirit is saying that you need to take time to play. Let the inner child within you get a voice and find expression. Because that inner child is like that child who's crying for attention. Oh, I want to play. I want to play. Maybe you play darts. I see for someone, um, you play darts or maybe you just take up that hula hoop. Maybe, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I see someone um, who's locked down and they've got the little daughter with them and she's got a hula hoop and you can act like you're playing with the child and yet, meanwhile, back at the ranch, it's you actually getting a chance to play. Find something to do to just... Make you relax. Ooh, okay. And dear Virgo, environmental factors that are going to help us or hinder us is working on our beauty. So you've probably changed the way that you want people to view you, the, your public appearance or how people are, are going to see you. Maybe you've changed, decided to change your hairstyle, uh, go with the makeup or accessorize a little differently. This is good because you're rebuilding. You're rebuilding your image, your portfolio, and working on a brand new chapter in your life. You know what, Virgo? When you're looking good, when you work on your appearance in whatever way, you don't have to have a lot of clothes. As long as they're clean and they're ironed and you wear them with pride and with confidence, you know, you walk a little taller, you know, you hold yourself a little better. And that positive energy that you give out and that confidence comes back to you. You feel better and good things come to you as well because you, you look in the mirror and like, oh, yeah. I like what I see. Yeah, I'm going through stuff, but you know what? I totally got this. So that's really quite beautiful for us as well, Virgo. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Virgo is hoping and praying during the month of August for spirit to intervene in a big way. And we're hoping to honor our true feelings as well. Because while it's very good to seek counsel outside of yourself about what you should do, oh, guys, do you think this is a good thing? Do you think I should leave the situation? I know it's unacceptable, but do you think I should really leave it? Or, and stuff like that. But Spirit is saying you need to honor your true feelings. Take time to listen to what your own inner voice is saying. Because that inner voice is your inner guidance. It's called like intuition. It's your inner tuition. It's your inner teacher that is with you all the time. So know, they know a lot better than anyone else outside of you. So perhaps you've been guided to a certain project, a certain idea, a certain geographical location, or certain, certain things that you should be doing in your life, or certain relationship as well that you've been guided to. This is spirits talking to you and 
asking you to to be true to yourself to listen to that inner voice within you don't discount it don't betray your own true feelings about a situation don't tell yourself is no is this not the right time to think about this i i don't i shouldn't think like this about this honor your true feelings coming up as a result for virgo <clears throat> in the month of august spirit what is coming up what is our outcome oh creativity virgo we need to be creative even if you're in the corporate world, think of creative solutions around your situation. Think out of the box. Take time to do something creative because you know what? When you do something creative, it helps you to unwind. It helps you to de-stress. And it's very easy to figure out very complicated strategies when you're doing something that seems totally unrelated. If you're doing like bead work or craft work or maybe you're a writer as well, you're writing songs or you're writing books, I feel someone is... Um, thinking of writing children's books as well. Someone who's listening to this message, there's a specific message for you. Get with it, you know, start writing. You know, you'd write down a few lines every day or if you're sketching something, sketch a new little picture to go with your project and stuff like that. That's going to really help you a lot. And for your projects to work out as well, that creativity is going to be needed. It's going to come in in a big way. Now, I want to clarify. Let's go a little deeper. Let's find out what this drama is, what this parting is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spirit. Oh. Immediately we have the ace of coins coming up. Ooh. The bunny came rolling in. <laughs> Virgo, there's an offer coming to you. A very big offer, like a lump sum of money or a job, a contract coming into you. And people are fighting you because of that. They're seeing that you're making huge strides to getting um, a lot of money to walk through to walk through to a more prosperous life. And they can see that and they started to, they wanted to just pull you down and to depress you and uh, bringing in a lot of strife and confusion as well to just knock you off your feet, so to speak. Spirit, what is this three of swords? Why is the three of swords appeared? <clears throat> oh, some of my cards have gotten themselves flipped over. What is this three of swords for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know? Yeah, you've completed the cycle and you have a cause for celebration and they can see that. Someone's been watching you, Virgo, and they can see that the way you're making strides and the way you're making moves and the way you're loving yourself and uh, being true to yourself as you move forward, you're about to make huge progress and you're going to have a cause to celebrate. But you've completed this cycle. This cycle's played out. That's why heaven came and knocked this tower down. This cycle's played out. You've, it's served its purpose. You've learned all that you needed to know. And look. You've got your happiness, wish fulfillment, Virgo. Your wishes and your dreams are being fulfilled. And you are going to get that emotional and financial stability that you've been hoping for. I see a very deep satisfaction. I see psychic protection. I see for someone you started a, a, a business. Um, are you opening a pizza shop or pizza delivery? I'm seeing red boxes for someone. I'm seeing someone who started a small business. They're starting it off from home. It's something that you've always done. And I see as well someone who's pickling, doing pickles. I see a jar of pickles on a windowsill. And um, someone has always done this. You've always done this for family, for Christmas, for birthdays, doing pickles, doing chutneys, doing all your special little recipes. And I see you taking this more online and taking this to a much higher level. This is beautiful, dear Virgo. And people have seen that and they're trying to fight all of it. But you know what? Heaven's on your side. Spirit's on your side. You know what? You need to thank these people for being so cruel to you because you know what? It was just that, that little spark that you needed to propel you to the next level. So, yeah. Thank you for being cruel because you know what? This trial and this tribulation you gave me, this is what you're telling these uh, enemies of yours these or frenemies. They could be frenemies. Frenemies. You're telling them, you know what? Thank you very much for player hating me because all that hating has turned me into the best player in the game. <laughs> Perhaps, maybe in not those words, but those, that's what I heard for one person. So all this cruelty has actually taken you into your good place. It's propelled you into your blessing. Now, I want to find out more about our solution where heaven says they've come in. There's a very important transaction coming into you and messages are coming in as well. Messages possibly even from loved ones or about loved ones that are going to make you happy. Your family is happy with you. Your family is sending in some very nice messages. Oh, that just flew out. Let's see what we have here. So for your solution, you're being asked to practice moderation of all kinds. 
and you need to make a choice, a decision. I see that you're going to have to practice moderation, do everything without doing things in excess. Uh, find a middle point for everything. Don't overdo anything. And I see as well that there's, you've reached a very decisive point in your life where certain decisions have to be made. I feel that they're coming hot on the trails of this betrayal, being stabbed in the back and all of that. And you decided, you know what, I need to change my opinions. I need to have a paradigm shift. Some opinions have served me for a long time, but they no longer serve me. And Spirit is giving you an opportunity to revise fundamental beliefs that you've held dear in your life for a long time. Maybe you've always told yourself, oh, as a rule, you know, I always do my business on the low. I don't want people to really know what I do. Maybe this is the time to change that perspective and take up a different uh, song, dance to your own tune. I feel as well that there's a dramatic change in outlook that's going to bring about a lot of positive benefits for you, dear Virgo. Now, I want to find out what is coming towards Virgo. What, let's, let's find out who you need to be aware of in the month of August. Because we were told already about this tower and we've been told about these people stabbing me in the back right now. Okay, what is this? Who does Virgo need to be aware of? Someone who's very fiery and someone who's got very good intuition. I see someone who's very intuitive, intuitive, but they may use, use their intuition for wrong, for the, all the wrong reasons. Like a, they can tune into your energy and find that you're feeling a bit low that day. Instead of actually being kind to you, they take advantage of your low energy like an energy vampire, like an emotional vampire, they take advantage of your sadness to make you feel even worse. So that's something you need to be aware of in the month of August and moving forward. Okay, I'm being told that I need to clear the energy of this tower, spirit, angels, guides, fairies, ancestors. I clear the energy of the people watching this video right now, dear Virgo. The tower has rolled out, the storm has blown, and the stone is... Storm has left a lot of interesting things. Let Virgo have the power to move forward into their greatness, into their opportunity. I send you healing. I send divine strategy. I feel that someone is oh, someone is actually physically heartbroken. Someone is really heartbroken. You found out something. Someone said something to you, and that made you made you really see them for who, for who they really are. I took the mask off. I send you healing into that situation. I want to find out what is coming up. At the bottom of the deck, we see you have inner power, dear Virgo. So you have spiritual power within you to cause and influence events. Spirit is asking to lean heavily on that inner power to move forward because heaven is already on your side. Yeah, there have been a lot of conflicts with these people stabbing in the back. People are trying to fight. Uh, perhaps they're fighting you outright, or perhaps they're coming in. You know, as I was meditating and, and preparing for Virgo's reading, I kept being drawn to Shrek 2, where there's Lord um, Farquhar, and he's trying to crook Shrek into signing a contract, and he's acting all nice. You know, you, for you, the viewer, you can tell, like, you're like, no, Shrek, this is a lie, and he's pretending to be, to be kind and to be gentle and loving and all of that, but this is a lion. So there could be someone who's coming in like a wolf in sheep's clothing for you, dear Virgo. Watch Shrek 2 again and see that part I'm talking about. You know, someone who's like, oh no, oh, I'm so sad this has happened to you. I really wish it hadn't happened. Yeah, deep down inside, they're like, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So Virgo is very intuitive, and I see that you may have really picked up on that. <laughs> I want to give credit to all our creatives, our animators, our artists. We give us a reference point, all our creatives. And credit to all the staff who worked on Shrek. Yeah, there's been a lot of cruelty. All these swords, can you see all these swords? Some of them, I'm trying to pick that up. Some of these swords have been worn out by being used and sharpened and um, used to cause you a lot of pain. And you might be feeling, but now you're coming out of this indecision and sleepless night and you decided to make a plan and you're coming out of that cruelty. Spirit has asked me to um, shuffle one more card for you, Virgo. There's one more message for you. Let's see what the Spirit want me to say to Virgo. Here it is. <gasps> it's a miracle, Virgo. Hang in there because you know what? God is on your side. Spirit is on your side. No matter how they've tried to break you down, you are not going to break down. You're going to break through. 
August is going to be a beautiful month for us. There's a new season unrolling for us. The Lion's Gate is open. Take time to meditate, to do affirmations and call in the life that you like. Thank you very much for joining me on African Gypsy. Remember, I am Sunshine. And be sure to subscribe, guys. That's how you support my channel. Like my channel, share the video, and um, contact me. My details are there down below so that you can book your personal reading. And we can find out how these energies play out for you. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you healing. And I wish you a cleansing of this negative energy that you've gone through for so long, dear Virgo. The future will be bright because heaven's on our side. Take care.